your sugar, babe I guess high off your love, I don't know how to be hey, What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So, I wanted to do a different type of video today, a more informative, educational type of video when it comes to building your clothing brand. So, today we're going to talk about how to make your first $1,000 within your clothing brand. I'm going to give you guys five tips on what you should do in order to build your clothing brand and make it better so that you are able to make your first $1,000 faster. My first tip would be for you to find quality products and actually show the quality of that product. You want to make sure that your products are actually good. You don't want to give out trash because once you start to sell your product and people realize that, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of trash they're going to tell other people they're going to leave reviews and you won't get more sales in order to reach your first one thousand dollars so you want to make sure whatever you're putting out is actually good listen to your audience listen to what people have to say about your products and how they feel about your products because that ultimately matters their opinion about your products matter the most because they're who you're selling to and some simple ways to show product quality is to just um you can ask people for reviews don't be afraid to say hey can you review what you just bought or i can i give you this t-shirt so that you can tell me what you think about it or can i give you this hoodie and you just let me know what you think get up close and personal in your videos and just show them the quality by stretching on the garment or show them what it looks like after washes so that they can know how long that garment will actually last through washes also a side note to showing your product quality is taking great photos of your products you want to be able to have a great presentation of whatever you're trying to sell to your consumer. So if you're trying to sell a hoodie, you need to take quality photos to show people how that hoodie fits, show them how it feels, and just try to be very descriptive when you're describing your products. Number two would be to reach your actual audience, your audience. If you do not reach the target audience that you have, it's going to be very hard to sell your product to a bunch of random people. You want to hone in on who your audience is, what your audience likes, and figure out how to make content around your audience, how to make your clothing around your audience, how to make that content and clothing that's going to reach the audience that you want to reach. The closer you are to your audience when it comes to content, marketing, and your strategies, the easier it's gonna be for you to make a sale. When figuring out who your audience is, you wanna be as detailed as possible. You wanna talk about what is your audience like? What is your audience like to listen to? What does your audience do? Where do they work? How do they feel? What is their mindset? Those are the things that you want to figure out when you're trying to figure out who your audience actually is. It's definitely gonna be easier for you to sell a streetwear brand to a skateboarding college kid than it will for you to sell your streetwear brand to a top lawyer in the game. You want to know who is your actual audience. Know who you're targeting so that you're not just making random posts and doing random photo shoots that aren't appealing to your audience. Number three, I hope you already have a website. So you want to make sure that you increase your average order value. And the best way that I found to increase your average order value is not to up the price on everything, but it's to have an array of prices on the different products that you offer. So for instance, you want to offer something for everybody so that nobody leaves empty handed when they come to your website. I have t-shirts that are $9.99, $11.99, 20 and then I might have like hoodies or jogger sets that are $80, $50, $60. So there's something for everybody to choose from. Even if you don't want to spend $80 today on a jogger set that pulled you into the website, you'll at least want to buy an $11.99 t-shirt. Now that will actually boost your average order value although you although it's not a huge sale it still adds up because you're still going to have those people who actually do purchase an $80 jogger set also purchase an $11.99 tee so therefore their order value will be like $91.99 now and that ups your average order value as well it's getting people to spend 
spend more with you by having that array of products, something for everybody in your audience. Another way for you to increase your average order value is to offer free shipping for a certain dollar amount. So therefore, people are going to try to add to their cart in order to reach that dollar amount to where they can get free shipping. So if you have free shipping on orders over $100, most times if people want free shipping, they're going to add an extra t-shirt or an extra hat in order to make their order get free shipping. So if someone is buying an $80 jogger set, they're going to try to find a way to add 20 more dollars. So they're just going to add an extra t-shirt, an extra hat, and that's gonna boost your average order value and get you to $1,000 faster. Number four, create a good shopper experience. Make sure that your website is seamless. When you're first starting out, it won't be perfect, but make sure it's as good as you can get it. I suggest getting someone to professionally work on your website. Um, you can, of course, do it yourself. I started off doing it myself, then I got someone else to do it, and now I just handle the updates that I want to make on my website. But you definitely want to get somebody to go in and do some of the things that maybe you don't really know about. You can find people on Fiverr, word of mouth, <laughs> Facebook. There's always different ways to find someone to help you with your website, but you want to create that good shopper experience. Don't have too many pop-ups to where it's annoying, but have pop-ups to where it's effective gain that data from them get their email their phone number so that you can reach out to them later but don't have a million different pop-ups if you have a million different pop-ups now you look spammy you just look spammy and scammy like i don't want to order anything from somebody who's just trying to pop up a million different things for me to enter my information into create different offers if you create different offers i really believe that that creates a good shopper experience because they see that oh this person has so many different savings for me so many different savings that they offer to me so i'm gonna you know do what i can to get those savings i'm gonna do what i can to get that 20 percent, that 15 percent. your shopper experience is not only online your shopper experience also goes all the way down until they get your product you also want to make sure that that experience is great when they get your product make sure that your product is packaged neatly correctly safe so that nothing happens to their garments. Make sure that you offer them freebies, send them something free. Even if it's just, you can you can see what somebody looked at. So if you see somebody looked at that 9.99 tee, but they only ordered the jogger set, send them the 9.99 tee as a gift and just say, I saw you looking at this, so I just wanna send it to you. Whatever, you wanna be a giver. Give them something for free, offer freebies, wristbands, keychains, whatever it is, you just wanna get your get more branding out there, but also make them feel special, which they are because they don't have to support you. Number five is make sure that you are utilizing text and email. Sometimes I've gotten orders because I sent out a random text message like this item is running low or save 25% on this item now, flash sale. Sometimes people, we're going through our day-to-day -day lives. We're the same way. Going through a day-to-day -day life and they're not thinking about your brand, but you wanna continuously remind them that, hey, we're here. Hey, we have something to offer. And the more you remind them, the more that they remember to go shop and the closer you'll be to your $1,000. When you're making your texts and your emails, you wanna make them, don't just send out a text message just to send out a text message. Hey, shop our website. Okay, you wanna say something catchy or say something that's gonna catch their attention and then give them an offer. It can be an offer that you already have all the time on your website, but they might not know about it, they may have forgotten. So send them an offer with this text message as well. And with your emails, you can do a lot more than you can with text messages. So you can put pictures in your emails. You can write a longer statement in your emails. Even if you're just writing a statement to thank them for shopping or thank them for looking around, that can get somebody else to come back to your website and actually make a purchase. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you got any information, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comment that down below as well. I am here to help you as much as I can. When I learn, you learn. That's my five tips on ways to make your first $1,000 in your clothing brand. Don't forget to visit my website at dynamicxfashion.com. Follow us on TikTok, dynamicxfashion. 
Follow us on Instagram, Dynamic X Fashion, Facebook, Dynamic Fashion. We are doing big things this year. We are doing so many drops this year, so you do not want to miss what we have coming. Let me know if there are any other videos that you guys would like for me to make, any other questions that you guys would like for me to answer or elaborate on. All right, but that's all I have for you guys. So continue to be dynamic, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.